This is insane. I have no choice to drop all my active projects to quickly share this amazing and game-changing open source AI tool that lets everyone generate super long videos locally, offline and for free. If you've struggled with those high VRAM requirements video generation AI tools, stick around because Framepack might just be your new best friend. I've already in love with it as Framepack lets me create up to two minute videos with just a low end GPU. Yes, even 6GB VRAM. It's based on Tencent's Han Yuan model, but optimized to be 10x more efficient, no more 24GB VRAM nightmares and only five second outputs. Plus, it's completely uncensored and works offline. Let's see it in action. Hello everyone! Welcome back to the AI Printify. I'm Steven, your host. Today I'm going to deep dive frame pack by myself without Agent K. Check this out. With frame pack, you can animate any image, photos, AI generated art, even 2D anime characters. Here's a kung fu routine generated from a single photo. Notice how smooth the motion is. Compared to Wen 2.1, when I run 1.3B model with 480p, it maxed out at 5 second clips and needs way more time to compile the output. I couldn't run smoothly on the 14B model with my AGB RAM GPU. Frankly speaking, I'm not questioning Wan's video generation quality, but it is not friendly to my machine at all. So what makes Framepack so efficient to AI generation? What's their secret? Framepack is a new way to make AI videos that's way smarter than the others. Instead of treating all frames equally, it packs the important frames in full detail and compresses the less important ones. Another clever trick is generating video frames in backward order, for example starting from last second, then last minus one, and so on until the first second, then stitches clips sequentially into a playable MP4 during each second generation. Why this matters? First, supports low VRAM. By processing small segments, it avoids loading the entire video into memory. This saves a ton of GPU memory and enables 6GB VRAM to generate 30 frame per second smooth videos for two minutes. Second, interruptible on the generation process since each one second clip becomes a valid MP4 immediately after stitching. You can stop early if the output suffices. Other models like one 2.1 will be slowed down and use much memory as the video gets longer, frame pack doesn't. It keeps generation light and fast, almost like making a single image. And it fixes a huge problem called drifting, where videos used to get worse over time. Frame pack predicts frames both forward and backward to stay sharp the whole way through. Framepack uses tricks like flash attention and sage attention to boost generation speed. With my low-end laptop, I get a 5 second clip around 20 minutes. That's very impressive! So overall smarter memory use, faster generation, no drifting, and it finally makes AI video feel as easy as AI image generation. Seriously, if you've got a modest GPU, Framepack is the clear winner. Let's quickly check out Framepack's GitHub page. It's packed with gems. First, the one-click installer is a game changer. It bundles CUDA 12.6 and PyTorch 2.6, so you don't need to wrestle with dependencies. Just download the 70Z package, extract and execute the run dot, but that's it. But since I've been using Pinocchio to manage all the AI tools, later I'll demo how to use Pinocchio to install Framepack. Next, check out these five second sample clips like this dancing guy. Simply using one photo, then it generates five second dancing. These show exactly what to expect smooth motion, but with some blur in fast actions. Also look at this girl dances gracefully. Her hands and fingers are much better than the previous one. Now, here's the gold mine, how to write prompts. The repo explains that motion keywords are critical. For example, I tried a bad one. A cat is reading the map and standing next to the tree with a couple of butterflies. This one is good. The girl is dancing modern dance gracefully with clear movements. They even suggest pasting their prompt template into ChatGPT to auto generate motion focus descriptions. Super handy for consistency. Finally, check out the system requirements and video GPU in RTX 30, 40 or 50 series. Only 60B VRAM needed. If you want to learn more, check out their page here. It explains the prediction models and more sample clips. I do like this Chinese lady dances elegantly. Look at her body motion, her fingers and the flowers. 
I'll say that it's almost perfect and consider it only take one image to generate 60 seconds, 30 frame per second, altogether 1800 frames. Okay, let's quickly install and play around frame pack. Let me show you the easiest way using Pinocchio. In Pinocchio discover page, search for frame pack, click on it. Click download, click save as hit install, no terminal commands needed. Pro tip, the frame pack supports PyTorch attention, Xformas flash attention, Sage attention. By default, it will just use PyTorch attention. You should install at least flash attention or Sage attention kernels, as it will boost the performance, but sacrifice a bit on the quality. I'm using Sage attention, which is the fastest among all. Once installed, it will automatically start, pop out the page, you're ready to generate. Let's test this. I'll upload this image and prompt T and enable tcache function for speed. For longer videos, tweak the GPU memory slider if you hit errors. Notice how I set steps to 15 and boom, it looks smooth. To be fair, frame pack isn't perfect. Sometimes hands can get blurry and extreme expressions are hit or miss but for free, local, and unlimited video generation, it's unmatched. Final verdict, if you're on a budget GPU, you must try FramePack. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, subscribe and hit the bell. Please drop comments on your experience with FramePack below. Let's keep learning together. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, Happy experimenting with your local AI models.